Jack. I wonder why those other guys didn't grab that extra life. Yeah, it's almost as if they didn't see it. Same with the happy onions and power-ups. It's like only Jack can see them. Weird. Shooting fish in a barrel! I tried that with a 
well yeah. She makes a big fucking mess. Out of the frying pan and into the uh, frying pan, I guess. Did I ever mention how much I hate ninjas? How do they do that? Do they have like spider powers or something? It's not the impact, it's the stink that gets you.
I hope Jack can rescue those hookers. All of them being scheduled with a couple of them later at the local running tub. You know, head injury is the leading cause of death in most of the Yeah, I think Jack's about to beat that today. Or at least beat that big I used to smoke dust before a game. 
never seen that. Ah, stay off the drugs, kid. Drink food. Like I think Jack's pretty much shot me low. Really? Did he go to good? Turn this up. I'm gonna do it. You should. Flaming cactus. Bad luck to open an umbrella when it's jammed in your guts. Jack rescued all the hookers. He gets a bonus. Those hookers give me a bonus. In my hands. I got it the first time. They give me a bonus. In my I got it the second time. Bonus in my hands. Work even better if you grind them up and tempt them into the bowl to your throat. I'll give you a dollar if you can tell me one thing that will give you better if you buy it out of the tent and it folds you up.
an umbrella to keep all the blood off them.
that just makes me happy. It's the little things in life. Mm -hmm. a society full of pussies. Now we're in for a fight. Fucking A, it's time for the big boys to dance. Shall we? Just like the great gladiators of ancient Rome, these two men will enter the arena and clash in hand-to-hand -hand combat for nothing more than the enjoyment of the rich and powerful. Where the fuck did that come from? I read that reading part once. Can you beat me, little one? The big bastard's coming! Just exquisite, Jack. You're a born kill seeker, you know that? You have real talent. Mom always said I was special. Do you know how many years this game has gone on? Thousands, Jack. Thousands. Excuse me? Not quite on this scale, of course, but just as vital. A contest between chosen gladiators. A grand fete of carnage. In every society, at all times, there has been war. Even at our most peaceful moments, we've never been truly free of the seeds of strife. As long as there is power, territory, ethnicity, belief, ideals, as long as there are people, there will be conflict. 
our reach is not different than any other. Come, Jack, how many countries do you know that are truly at peace? You know who this guy is, Jack? He's the one asshole. Get it? One asshole to rule them all? I didn't realize there was gonna be a pop quiz. What's your point? The first Death Watch games took place 2,000 years ago in Mesopotamia. The Fertile Crescent then. No, nothing but rocks and sand. War had been the way of life there for years. Weary of the bloodshed, the leaders from each camp chose champions to fight on their behalf. For the victor went the rule of law. That was the beginning. So they realized the price of power is blood, and they wanted to cut costs. Precisely. Thus began the games. At times the games are fought to decide the fate of a country. Other times it is merely to determine the outcome of a feud. But the goal remains the same. The settlement of conflict for the minimum price in blood. That is why the games exist. So, then what's this all about, huh? What fate does it decide? You telling me an entire city and everyone in it is the minimum price for this game? The world is controlled not by the masses, but by the hands of a few. It is an undeniable fact, and it has always been so. That all men are created equal is a myth. The people are nothing but weeds. They're overlords, gardeners. Only when the weeds are cut, may flowers bloom. From all the fertilizer you're spreading, I'm guessing you're a gardener. You're a talented man. It's good to know some things don't change. Welcome back, Jack. It's good to be home. Here comes Jack as he walks in amongst all those beautiful flowers. Nothing says I'm gonna rip your fucking head off like making an entrance to a bunch of flowers. And here comes the big boss! That waterfall is getting in the closest thing to a shower he's had in months! Your best shot, boy. Bring it in, no grenades, hit or aim. Grip one more at the net, find a rep, I'll beat you back. Quick, two, three. Bring it in, no grenades, hit or aim. Grip one more at the net, find a rep, I'll beat you back. Quick, two, three. Shogun is a trademark of the Tokyo Gym. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know, some guy paid me to say it. Round one. This should be fun. Taking a beating that ended up on the spikes outside the ring. Complex 
Hey, I just saved your ass. How about pointing that thing someplace else, huh? Guns make me nervous. <sighs> I'm sorry. <sighs> thank you. You can thank me by getting up and coming over here. Don't worry. If I was gonna kill you, I'd do it right out here. Look, I'm not a contestant. But if you don't hurry up, I am gonna shoot you. Wait, no, I I'm sorry. I'll go with you. My name's Leo. Leo Falmont. I'm in my residency at Jefferson Central Hospital's ER. Or I was, I guess. Thanks again. So what's your excuse? What? Why are you still alive? Alive? I... <sighs> they sprayed this whole damn place with a virus. If you're not a contestant, why didn't you get sick? Why the hell are you still alive? so fast. The island was cut off before we knew what was going on. Ladies and gentlemen, beloved citizens of Farragon City, lend me your ears. We have cut off all road and rail access to and from Jefferson Island. No one enters, no one leaves. We have also disabled your cellular devices, phones, and all internet connections. All satellite signals from the island will be jammed. You are our captive audience. Justice is an idea the weak cling to to legitimize their drab, peaceful existence. True justice can only be found when lives are at stake, especially one's own. I challenge you to seize the day, redefine justice in your own terms. Let the games begin. To those of you still wondering, this is a game of survival. Might makes right. It is the only law and your only chance if you wish to live through this. 
To those who do survive, you will not only win the right to live, but a substantial financial reward to the tune of $100 million. To participate in this game, you need only pick up a weapon, a pipe, a bat, a knife, anything will do. Then you need to kill someone. Family members and neighbors are a convenient place to begin. Ah, yes, one more thing. We've dispersed a biological agent, a virus, across Jefferson Island. Everyone infected, which is all of you, will die within 24 hours. If you care to live longer than 24 hours, all you need do is indicate your willingness to participate in our game. Kill anyone, and you will be given a vaccine. Oh, and I suggest you act quickly. The virus incubation period varies by person. Some may suffer adverse effects much sooner than others. Ah, a case in point. Get back! He's hemorrhaging! Game over. So who'd you kill, Doc? A patient? Damn it! I didn't kill anybody! <sighs> I didn't develop symptoms because I took the vaccine they made. And I didn't kill anyone to get it. I stole it from someone who had. You? The virus got him before he was able to take it. <laughs> your lucky day, isn't it? I've got an ID on your friend. Born in 1993 in Ausrain Harmonia. Went to public high school, majored in medicine at Berrigan State. Top of his class. The rest of his story checks out. So, <laughs> guess we trust the doc. If you're not a contestant, who are you? Are you with some kind of rescue squad? There's gonna be a rescue, right? Uh, why haven't they sent anyone yet? Because <laughs> everyone's too busy running around with their heads up their asses to do anything. Sorry, but the cavalry ain't coming. The island's cut off completely. Spy satellites are jammed. All they know on the outside is that a terrorist group's taken over. Terrorists with lots of firepower and the balls to use it. So we're hostages. Targets more like it. If I were you, I'd go find myself a good hole to hide in. What? You're not gonna get me out of here? Sorry, kid. I've got things to take care of. I don't help people. I kill them. Hello, Jack. Jack Kamen. Registered chaser with the Guild under the Bureau's High Crimes Division. Graduated from Stanfield, joined the Marines. His squad saw some action, a few top secret missions. The Lasiria Embassy hostage crisis in 92, the Albeda Airport takeover in 97. Earned himself three silver stars. Regular hero. And good at making corpses, as we've seen. It all begins to make sense. 
Later says he left the Marines and joined the Varigan City PD as a detective in the Homicide Division. Oh, this is interesting. You remember the kidnapping of the Minister of Transportation's daughter? Yes, Palgastini, wasn't it? I seem to recall they paid the ransom and found the girl murdered. It seems that Jack was in charge of the case at first, but got removed after a falling out with the department heads over strategy. According to the PD, Jack went rogue after that. They claimed his actions pushed the kidnappers into killing their hostage. He gets reprimanded, they even take him to court. He's found not guilty, but he still quits the department. After which the chasers snatch him up. So who's he chasing? And what does it have to do with our games? I'll have to crack the bureau servers. Give me a moment. Look for something high stakes. Something put up by a celebrity. Something that would interest a man like Jack. There's over 30 bounties posted here. Which could it be? There. Naomi Ann Boris, the mayor's daughter. She's on the island. So, he's after the mayor's only child, huh? Castle was moved brick by brick to Jefferson Island from eastern Zambikistan over a century ago. Unfortunately, along with the bricks came that country's most important export, zombies! These shambling bastards have pounded every crevice in this black castle and are harder to kill than a closet full of cockroaches. Yes, cock-sucking castles inhabited by all kinds of unnatural fucking monsters. Jack better be on top of his game here, or he's gonna get killed in nasty life. It's gonna make a mess when your chest explodes. Yeah, throw the full moon, make you go crazy. Uh, uh, uh. Caught up in the maze, dark and twisted. Let's see who the craziest is. Uh, that lamp is doing dead. Jump on 
Try something else. Uh, that's shit. That street and lamps are not as easy as his tits on the wall. That's not necessarily true.
just gonna carve that fucking the pumpkin if he wants to stop that fucking thing. Fuck you, 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 fuck you,